Robert, what, what is YCH doing in terms of ensuring long-term competitiveness and sustainable differentiation? Because it, it's easy for the competitors to replicate or duplicate your business model, your processes. So tell us, uh, from your perspective, uh, what will ensure YCH's long-term competitiveness? We, we have a mission to be the number one player across the entire Asia-Pacific region. So we are definitely a leader in this space now. And the competitive advantage that we will have is really in the network across the entire Asia Pac. That means I can do for you anywhere in Asia. And I have the same depth in each of the country. A lot of companies will claim to you that they have all over, but they could have a table and a chair and an office somewhere in each of the cities. But they tell you they have 50 cities. We are in 50 cities, but we are talking about a huge operation, almost of this size in every one of them. So that is a differentiator. All right, so, and that is something that we feel will give us that long-term competitive advantage. You can replicate, it will take you another 20 years, 10 years to replicate that. Right? Unless you acquire us, that's another thing altogether. Um, the other advantage, the other differential uh, competitive advantage that we think that we will be able to put forward is really our concept of what we call um, inclusive growth in the countries that we actually work in. In our last mile distribution throughout, we do last mile partnership. Our last mile partnership are done with all the SMEs in the country, in that particular location. For example, in Chengdu, I work with all of them there. In India, I work with everybody uh, in India, the small SMEs, right? transport companies. Right? And these people, when they actually grow in that place, they're also yearning to be one day to grow like us. And we have no problems in leading people in the long, long that direction. But when we go into a country, we work with them, we choose those people in that area, and those are, at that time, the most efficient in the transportation link at that point of time. We know that because we have gone through that space. Our strategy and objective is really not to compete with them. We don't go in like the big multinational, after they go there, grow them and then buy them. We want to coexist with them, we want to build them up. So to me, that's a competitive strategy. And uh, by doing that, I will be able to then get them in. But I have, remember, I have a very strong IT system. All right. I bring them up, I get my system in, track and trace, they work with me. All right. So I can track, for my customer, I can track wherever they deliver because they update their information. All right. Today, technology is very, very uh, uh, advanced. So if you see the kind of uh, runway that we are putting in, I'm trying to create the strength from bottom up, not so much as top down. All right. So we drive it top down, we will create the foundation that is strong. We are not averse to asset ownership. All right. My customers, my competitors, sorry, are averse to asset ownership. They want the asset-like strategy, so they don't own assets. They will lease from anybody they want. I will go in, all right? If it's strategic location and it's a long-term thing for me, all right, I will invest in the asset, I will build the facility. Uh, are there any future plans to diversify? Is, is listing on the card in terms of your expansion plans? Yeah. You see, we are very focused in what we do. So you notice that, uh, you know, this is what we do best, and we intend to take this through. Right, and create depth into the market that we go in, rather than try to do too many things on that basis. So, things that we will do will be more along these lines. Of course, uh, the, the, the other side expansion that we're doing is actually more in the cold chain business. Remember, we are building a lot of infrastructure across. That's, that's huge infrastructure. So, we today have about 6-7 million. We probably built about 10-20 million square feet of uh, facilities all across Asia Pacific. So, Ultimately, whether we will actually maybe create our own REIT or, or whatever it is to finance that, that, that part of the infrastructure. What, what is your vision for the company? Where do you see YCH uh, maybe 10 years from now? And that will make you a 60-plus-year-old company. Uh -huh. um, well, I hope to see YCH as a company that will be all over, all over the globe, actually, not just uh, in Asia Pac. Right? We are just making the impression today in Asia Pac. Of course, we, we will gun for the global stage. But in more the developed economy, we don't need to do that. We will probably look at M&A or, or even alliance with some of the partners in that, in, that, in that country. But it all depends on how the world stage play out. Because if it's going at this pace, I, I'm happy actually not being in those areas, right? The Western Europe or US. If we get out of its own problem in the next couple of years and all that and become uh, vibrant uh, again, then it become attractive to go in. 
is more on how we can actually uh, rally all right, our 4,000 uh, strong employees. We probably will grow to about 10,000 by that time and so on. And, and, and to be able to take this uh, troop right, throughout the, the globe.